Hello, if you're watching this video, then you probably want to know how to create a fursuit tail that looks like this. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that in this tutorial. Here are the items you're going to need. Some white yarn for the end of the tail to make it look natural. Some colored yarn for the rest of the tail. You could do two colors or three colors. How many colors you want. You're going to need a hairbrush. Some scissors. Some rubber bands to attach them to your tail. And of course, you're gonna need the base for your tail. I'm using this keychain thing. You need this type of keychain if you're gonna be using a keychain so you can hook it onto your belt loop or something. And just try and fasten that onto, and just like hot glue that onto a, a pipe cleaner thing that like this. You can also use a already made cat tail or something that doesn't have any fur on it. Yeah. It doesn't look so good right now, but you see, what happens is you just cover up the seams as you go, so there's that. So it doesn't look very good right now, but here's how the end looks. And I'm going to show you how to make some of the fur for it. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So now you're going to take the yarn of your choice, the yarn of your choice, and choose the end of your yarn, and just pull out as much yarn as you need. Keep in mind, if you want to make a large amount of fur at once, you're going to need a lot of yarn. So just like pull out as much yarn as you're going to need. Just like keep pulling out the yarn. Keep pulling it out and out and out and out and out and out and then cut. You don't need exact measurements here because naturally you're never ever going to find a real fox with the tail that's with all even fur and stuff because in the wild they don't have a barber shop to go and trim their tail to make it all perfect so yeah you don't need one either and then you just do what I'm doing here kind of find the end loop like this and I think I got too much yarn okay so I did that off camera because it took a while, but pretty much what I did was I kept finding the ends and connecting them until I got something like this long where it's pretty short, but enough so you can tie a knot on it. This is important because then you need to do this and copy exactly as I do. exactly as I do. Tie a knot there and just pull it to be tighter. And then what I did, I did this off camera as well, is there's gonna be some loops at the bottom because you kept trying to even it out. You need to cut those off. Just like take your scissors and just chop off all the loops. I did that off camera, but here's pretty much what you gotta do. Like that, I did that off camera though. And now, if you find, oh and also, if you find any of this, you can take a bag and save it because like that's good for stuffing. But anyways, now I want you to take your clipboard and hairbrush. Latch open the clipboard. And this is gonna require two hands, so just bear with me. pretty much latch open your clipboard and slide the knot underneath that way when you pull it it can't pull out it just makes the knot tighter now take your brush and keep brushing eat wig hair and just keep brushing this until the yarn starts to unravel and becomes super fluffy like this I'll come back when I'm done. That took longer than I thought. Anyways, it'll probably take you about 30 minutes to make something. When you're done brushing out the yarn, it should look something like this. And it should be like really fluffy and stuff. And you should have a pile this big of yarn fluff. Now, hey, Jazz, can you hold my camera? I'm trying to film something that requires two hands. Just like hold it right here. Please. Just like hold it. Thanks. Now, we're gonna take the tail, and I'm gonna show you how I put these on. 
The rubber band I'll show you how to put on later, but you need to create like 10 of these to create a row. Or actually 20. Anyways, what you need to do then is slide this underneath here. You make sure you're getting this on tape? Yep. And now you just kind of, yeah. And then you need to make a couple more to cover up these. Make sure that all these loops are covered or else your cosplay is going to look really bad. Thanks. Yeah, make sure that all the loops are covered or else your costume's going to look really bad.